killing me, Smalls. talk to you a minute. <clears throat> it's important. Uh, may I ask you to uh, before you before you make comments uh, and make assumptions, please hear this whole video. Uh, listen to every point. Uh, listen to the words if you're not sure, replay it back, whatever. Uh, sitting on the back stoop by the trash can. I'm sitting by the trash, so there's no pride here. Everybody thinks there's pride somehow. I don't know. What I got to say is very important. It really is. And this is to everybody. No matter what your religion or what your race, what your creed. Um, this is important. Put my glasses off so you can see my eyes for the best. I can't see you as good. My eyes are getting bad, y'all. Got my coffee. <clears throat> so please, don't assume anything until you've heard all the points that I want to make. Uh, this is not the video I was talking about. I'm, I'm still working on that video for those of y'all that are following. Um, and it will even touch on some of the stuff I'm about to cover, maybe, but uh, a lot different way. But I just want to make some points here. And uh, everything in this video is going to be pretty much uh, a fact. I mean, it's just it's pure fact. Observations, if you will. Factual observations. Uh... Currently, I want you to look at this as one human being to another. I'm not trying to convince nobody of anything. There's nothing to try and convince you of. Uh, there used to be an old saying, uh, walk a mile in another person's moccasins or walk a mile in my shoes uh, to get the person's perspective. And all I'm doing is really, I, I want to share uh, a perspective with you and uh, this is so important this is so important at this time it's crucial I think there is so much turmoil uh, amongst people on this YouTube thing people you know everywhere you're at and this this is to uh, everybody around the world I mean no matter where you are you're under some form of law or under some form of government and, uh, and a form of control we all are and so I'm talking to the population as a whole one human being to another and uh, I hope that you can Bear with me, and I know some of you hate me to say that, bear with me. But in this observations I'm, I'm uh, wanting to make here, and I'm trying to get to the point, so please bear with me. I know a lot of people are short attention span, and I get on your nerves because I'm slow at talking, but it's just me. And I'm trying to, to choose my words wisely at this moment. I want to be uh, calm, cool, and collective. I have no anger. I love all of you. I really do. Regardless of how you feel about me. It makes no difference. Um, but we're experiencing something here that I don't think people are realizing what is actually taking place regardless of where you stand or what you believe um, we are having uh, some serious issues here 
amongst the people. Now our governments, I was talking about, are trying to create havoc. We know this. Everybody, you know, I remember back when people were first talking about chemtrails and everybody said they were nuts. Uh, and now everybody pretty well aware of chemtrails. And back when they were talking about uh, FEMA camps and all that, everybody knows about all that stuff now and it doesn't seem so far-fetched or crazy anymore. But the reality is that there is a phenomenon taking place now and, and our governments have been trying to continuously by political means or by race wars or religious wars or whatever uh, create havoc and split the population it seems like to constantly keep some sort of division I mean uh, some of the most recent was the, the flat earth you know you've got people that thinking on both sides of that three ways there are some stinking hollow uh, but the most current is the Mandela effect now don't don't flip it off and don't go stupid here but it, it really is a phenomenon because a large number of the population uh, is having whether you want to call it misremembering or having different memories I guess is the best way to probably put it uh, than the other part of the population some people uh, the example the JFK car some people remember four some people remember six but interestingly um, people are remembering one or the other it's it's not like nobody's remembering you know with the Berenstain Bears you got Berenstain Berenstain ain't nobody remembering Berenstainkel I mean it's, it's it's one or the other you either have a memory of what you think has been changed or you have the memory of the way it is currently and always has been regardless um, there, but because this this is happening you have the people uh, with the, with the scriptures that, that people are saying that are changed and because of that now that's created a great division with Christians because you've got those that, that are, are dead set that it hasn't, nothing been changed in, in their Bibles and others that, that say they have seen the changes in their Bibles. And the point is, and the fact, and everything I've said so far is facts, regardless of, of what it is or which side of that wall that you're on, the fact remains that there's a large portion of the population that are experiencing a difference. It's a, there's a division, and I'm talking there's people in Africa, there's people in uh, Ireland, and Australia, and Great Britain, and America. It's, it's uh, most of the, the English speaking uh, seems to be the affected parts. So there's some things that we need to consider here. Um, And, and here's the thing. It's not, we don't fight against flesh and blood. This is the problem. This is what's happening. People are, are actually clashing over, over this. It's not about trying to prove to somebody one way or the other. Unfortunately, there are People who, who, who are on one side of this that don't see any of the changes are, are trying to, to just write it off as a hoax. And it's, it's not a hoax in the sense that there's so many people having the same memory, even though it's different than yours or vice versa. The fact is, is that they're having these memories a large number of the population. Now, if you understood some of the science that was going on and understood maybe some of the, the things that DARPA and uh, our military complex, the, the brain initiative, things that, that uh, are going on uh, with the governments, uh, the whole concept and study of the brain 
and some of what we call scalar technology, some of the weaponry that is there that can be used to manipulate one's memories or one's mind even. And the studies uh, are out and uh, you can look all of this stuff up. The, the, the point I'm trying to get to, and, and I've already drug off for 10 minutes it looks like here, it's not against each other. This is the thing. What is happening is creating a division, sure. And that's exactly why we're seeing these things take place. This is the, they're running algorithms with these things, the, the Google D-Wave and all of this other stuff. It's, it's running algorithms continuously to monitor how people respond to these things that we're seeing. The, the, the question here that we should be asking is why this is even reality? Why is this something we're experiencing? Now, don't get me wrong, there's so many different theories out there of people talking about uh, a new earth or double earth or, or, or split time zones and all of this and that. And I think that's, I think that's a misconception ultimately. There are some interesting points about certain labels changed and things like that. So if we're looking at from the perspective of the, the we'll say the affected, the Mandela affected folks, then we have some, some things that we can look at as far as theories. But if we look at it as a whole, as a society, because people that are experiencing this effect are religious and non-religious, uh, red, yellow, black, and white. It's uh, and even different religious backgrounds. The ones that do have some sort of spiritual concept to them. Um, and, and we're talking doctors and lawyers, scientists, people, people of every teachers. There's I mean from every walk of life, employed and unemployed. The same on both sides now. Um, that are experiencing this. Now the reason it's got the Christians all up in a roar is because you got these remembering biblical verses one way, the lion and the lamb concept, and others saying no it's always been the, the, the wolf and the lamb. And so that's the creation there of conflict is because of the biblical beliefs that people have and, and how they hold that. But regardless, of, of those things. The fact that it is actually taking place, that there is such a large number of people experiencing their memories one way, uh, dolly with braces in the thing or, or remembering whatever, brags with an S or Kit Kat with a dash or Fruit Loops, I don't know, just whatever, it goes on and on. Captain Crunch or Captain Crunch, whatever. I mean, really, there, there are so many experiences, so many different examples of these things being remembered differently. Some saying it's just uh, always been the way it is right now. And those that are affected are seeing this uh, they're remembering the same thing. This is the, this is the thing. This is what it is. They really get you. This is where you really got to focus on this. And this is where I'm headed, I guess. And it's hard to, to, to get this across because I'm trying to appeal to, to both sides of this thing. We got to stop this fighting between us. I mean, it's not about uh, everybody saying, oh, it's a hoax. It's a hoax. It's not a hoax. People that are experiencing it want to know why. They can see these things or why they're experiencing it. Many theories abound. And the ones that don't see it are, are, you know, have a tendency to just slam and bang against those that are saying, hey, no, this is, I remember it this way. And they're saying, no, oh, you're, you're crazy. You're just misremembering. And maybe we are just misremembered. Or maybe you're misremembering. Whichever side you're on. The fact is, is that there is military weaponry. You can look all this up. And experimentation that's been going on 
and it's obvious that something has taken place, whether it's a, a supernatural thing, or whether it's a military thing, or whether it's just some crazy science experiment. We're all guinea pigs in a jar here, because there is something taking place that is affecting religious, non-religious, of every backward walk, whatever. Why? What is causing such a thing to take place? There are people that are willing to bet their lives and their salvation and all of these things on these things they see changed. Or the same applies those that are willing to, to bet their life and their salvation on, on not seeing anything changed. Both sides are equally, because you've got your history, there's residue for those that are seeing these changes and having these memories. The question comes down to this. Our government has to be aware. There's no way as much as the Mandela effect or quantum effect or, or all of these different things has been on YouTube, uh, the government you know is aware that this is going on. So somebody's sitting back taking notes. They're running the algorithm. How are we going to get them to fight? How are we going to get them to, to rise up? Can we get them to divide even more? This is being done by something Artificial intelligence, maybe that's why we're seeing the typographical errors. Uh, Oreo double stuff, the F's are gone. Uh, puffin stuff, the F is gone. The depends, the S is gone. Uh, whatever. Different wordings in movies and all of these different changes that people are, are seeing or not seeing. The fact remains that it's true is that people are remembering either one way or the other. What is causing such a vast number of people to do that? Out of the blue, has memories been interjected? If you look into the Brain Initiative and some of the things, and I hope to touch on that in this next video, uh, if you look at what they're doing and the experimentation that they're running with their AI algorithms, with, with the D-Wave, with uh, the, the Google stuff that they're investing in the millions and the brain research and the scalar technology, you got HARP, you got Bluebeam, you got the, the Chemtra, there's so many different things. Nanotechnology, now dust they say. I mean, have they reprogrammed people? Have they wiped the memories? Of those that don't see things and, and, and made them one way or have they added memories to these others that are experiencing this effect something has taken place there's no doubt about that that's there's no hoaxing that you can't say thousands upon thousands of people who are having the same memories are out to try and hoax the world and that doesn't even make sense the numbers statistically it, it is a real phenomenon. You can't say it's witchcraft because it's not like one or two people trying to create a hocus pocus. Now don't get me wrong, whatever's causing it or whoever's causing it, whichever the case may be, is definitely something that's taking place, that's creating this difference in beliefs or in memory at least is it so that they can say okay all you people that have misremembered all you people experiencing you're you're insane you're crazy we can lock them up is, is it is this part of the program for the agenda 21 or whatever number they call it these days are they are they getting people ready and prepared so that they can say okay well we'll lock these group up because they they can't remember their names now or is this early experiments to see how far they can push the population? Are they going to come through with even more? Are they going to change things more to see how far they can push it? How far they can get away with it? Are they just continuing to do stuff to people's minds via frequency? This is why I said listen to all of this. You see, and everybody knows this, our body, the molecular structure, when people are happy and go lucky, people that are 
living life, you know what I mean? The, the, the less fear has a higher frequency. It's true. People that are happy have a tendency to have a higher frequency in their makeup, in their 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 whole molecular structure. We're we're a lot of percentage is water here, and the brain matter that's in here that we have really don't know but we know it's all firing all electricity and everywhere you go you got a cell phone tower you got cell phone all the computers now we're doing all of this this virtual reality and then we have the uh the analog stuff they switched everything to digital you got this this pokemon go thing so they can do all these different kinds of intermingling with the computers and your mind and the frequencies whether it's CERN or the D waves or whatever's creating magnetic frequency is it will do stuff. Uh, sound you can play a, a, a dog whistle, the dog will hear it, nobody can hear it. You can hit low tones and certain frequencies. They have already proven this with some of the weaponry they have that they've even used in Iraq, the IRADs, and all of these things. Certain low frequencies make people feel sick or feel down or or groggy or tired um, certain frequencies make people feel more angry even Prince back before he died he had done an interview way back in the day and he said he could see the chemtrails and all the different things and next thing you would notice in his neighborhood everybody's arguing and fighting and we don't know who is getting hit is, is this affecting people in certain areas of your country or is it affecting people because of their frequencies? People that are not seeing this, that, I mean, think about this now. There's a lot of people who keep calling hoax and all this and that, and they're real negative kind of folks. I mean, not everybody, not everybody, but a lot of the people, they're out there badgering. There's a lot of people that don't see the changes, and they're curious like I am, why and how and, and who's doing what, who's manipulating what, what kind of things are going on? And if you look at this from the reality of the world that we live in as a society, one human to another, somebody is messing with us. Somebody's messing with us. You've got to get that in one form or another. Whether it be supernatural, or whether it be mechanical, or whether it be, you know, just man-made uh, experimentation of mass control mind control how can we do this this next video i'm going to do this is not the one that i was talking about that i'm working on but it will touch on a lot of this and expose a lot of stuff lord willing and i'm alive and get it out i'm trying but i'm telling you rather than battling against each other trying to prove your point if the bible verses have changed for you stick with it if they haven't changed for you, stick with it. Keep reading. Keep studying. The whole purpose and the point is to draw as close to your Creator as you possibly can, okay? I'm always going to say that in all my videos. You need to repent. You need to get right with God because the days that we're living in are just so screwed up and crazy. You just don't know what's around the corner. You really don't. You really don't. All right, sorry about that. I cut off there for a second. Anyway, listen. What I'm trying to say about this stuff is that, you know, I want you to remember that the Jade Helm, when that was going on, you had the whole, the whole AI, uh, artificial intelligence on the Jade Helm program, and it was to uh, uh, conquer the human domain. I believe that was what it was, the thing, something about taking over the human domain, I believe it was to conquer uh, or dominate or whatever and they let the AI direct what the soldiers and the generals and all them would do so they're already using that artificial intelligence computer systems supercomputers and things like that now here's another thing to consider uh, governments around the world there's an AI battle right now I mean you can look all this stuff up everybody's trying to get their supercomputers not just the D-Wave but China's working on it. You know Russia's involved on theirs. Is it possible? Think about this. Since most of the affected seems to be in the English speaking, the NATO countries, if you will, even. Uh, is it possible 
that because our government's always talking about the these these internet attacks and things like that or, or computer attacks with these weapons that they have the different types of weapons that are, are being used and if you look into this you could really see some crazy things I'm telling you but is it possible and I don't want to blame Russia I'm not saying Russia is responsible by no means those of you in Russia I ain't got nothing against you uh, I love all of you and I don't care where you're at or who you are but is it possible as far as our governments are concerned with, with the NATO buildup? Is, is Russia uh, maybe firing off some sort of thing? Or China even? There, there's the problem in the South Pacific over there with, around all them islands. And is China maybe doing something? India's big in some of their stuff. And if you look at all of these different things, you got with your colliders, your, your, your AI computers and all of these different things that people are practicing. Is it possible there's an attack going on? And that's why uh, you're seeing this. Is it our own government that is doing this? We, I mean, who's responsible? Is this coming right out of Switzerland? Some of the, the testing they're doing there with, with uh, the whole CERN project. I mean, CERN's not doing it necessarily, but they're popping these particles and allowing the science on the quantum side of it to be able to physically do some of these things. I mean, it's, it is a reality that is very feasible uh, to see these things molecularly, the matter changing. Uh, to go back and, and, and to even doctor or, or uh, tap into the past. Now, people aren't being sent back. They, people out there say they are, but I don't know. Maybe in, I don't think that's right. But what about the people, you know, we remember people dying, like, uh, uh, well, just goes on and on. And the misremembering concept. And again, it's out of the blue. I mean, all of these things are happening, this big flux. You had the flat earth was the big thing for a while, and all of a sudden this Mandela effect. Now, this is what's bad, is because you're getting people of every age, uh, people think there was... Uh, 52 states. There's a, a play of Obama. He what said, I, I ain't been to all 57 states yet or something like that. He said, you know, I don't know. It's goofy. There's only 50 states. But people remember being 51. Some of them, there was a girl, she's, she's out there sitting in Georgia. And she's not that old. She's probably not even in her 20s yet. Maybe 18, maybe, maybe 20s. Uh, and said in fifth grade, you know, she, she remembers it distinctly being 51 states. Now, I, it was always 48 states, and they added Hawaii and Alaska. We got the 50, as far as I understand. That's my memory. Uh, that's what it is currently. Um, I don't, I don't know specifically. Uh, and I'm going to wrap this up because I. I usually go to these 30 minute videos and I apologize if I haven't made any sense. My point is that something is taking place that is causing a great distraction, a great division amongst people. And again, I was talking about the frequencies. You know, those people that have a tendency to be uh, fearful or angry or negative. They are the ones that frequency. They don't. A lot of the negative type folks don't. I mean, not all of them, but a lot of the the folks that aren't seen have a negative tendency to them. You know, bashing and it's a hoax and it's all crazy. It's a lie. It's a lie, and it's not. Uh, it's not. But in the same respect, you have people on the Mandela affected side. There are those, most of them are empathetic, very, very uh, laid back or, or trying to understand, trying to share. And the thing is, is if people are not seeing it, there's a good chance they're not going to. They're going by the history that's current. Um, and so there's no sense in trying to badger one another to try and remember it. Because if your mind is telling you one thing and you know it for a fact in your mind, you're not going to convince somebody else uh, of something until you experience. That's just like trying to convince 
uh, a blind man what the rainbow looks like. You're not going to explain the colors of the rainbow to a blind man and do a good job so that he can see it. It's not going to happen like that. You can't uh, explain uh, to a person who is an atheist who has no concept or belief system in God that there is a God at all. Uh, unless they've had an experience supernatural, they're not going to believe. Uh, and it's, that's the same with, with any of these things. You have to have your own personal experience, whether it's your personal experience with God, or whether it's your personal experience with the Mandela Effect, or your personal understanding or experience with some sort of flat earth deal, or your personal experience with what you had for dinner. Um, the whole point is, is you're not going to convince me if I had... Uh, an egg sandwich on toast this morning with with cheese and I know that's what I had for breakfast you're not going to tell me different uh, if I know that I was at uh, a specific school in a certain year or that I graduated this year or that you're not going to change my mind so why all of a sudden is the populations of the world divided and having separate memories again one or the other it's not people aren't saying okay I remember the lion with the lamb I remember the wolf with the lamb and somebody else is over here saying well I remember it was a frog and a lamb or a bear and a lamb uh, why aren't people remembering it was a lion and a wolf maybe no lamb at all it's not like that you're remembering one way or the other you've either had things wiped out and taken away or something's been added you, do you understand that the point is is you're not going to convince each other both sides and clashing and fighting back and forth is going to belittle and take you away for the christians you going in there and smashing at each other's heads trying to prove your way or the other way you guys are doing the wrong you're falling into the trap and that whole set of confusion that's that's taking you further away from god than anything you're judging your brothers and rather than being concerned why people are experiencing this, rather than being investigative and wise and trying to understand why people are seeing things or why people aren't seeing things, you want to criticize each other. That's the craziest thing. That's exactly what the whole thing is for. That's the deal. You, you can bet that the AI algorithms are running right now and saying, okay, we. Well, all we got to do is flip a few things around, man. And maybe they are doing some of this this backward stuff. If if it was four seats instead of six, did they try and stop the JFK assassination? I mean, people that remember that pretty well about all the theories, and yet there's people that's older than I am that believe there were six always. So who is it affected? Is it about our frequencies? Negative frequencies are lower. Have they been hit differently than the positive frequencies? People that are happy-go-lucky and have no fear of anything, are they on a different frequency? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? The three categories all together is either you don't see no changes, even though you're looking, or you see all kinds of changes, even though you're not even trying to, or the third group is those that's not even aware of it yet because not everybody's on the Internet, and that's where a lot of people are learning this. However, you can go talk to people in public and ask questions about how they remember, and they have a tendency to remember pretty much like everybody else. Mirror, mirror on the wall. No, it was never that. And most of the things these debunkers, unfortunately, they're just trying to, to debunk because it goes against their belief or it goes against... They don't remember it that way. Everybody's saying, well, you're just misremembering, when in reality, maybe they are. You, you see? That works both ways. That's a two-way street. Rather than trying to point out who's right and who's wrong, we need to figure out why it's split and who's responsible. That's, that's the reality. Who's responsible? Who's playing with our minds? Because it's obviously a mind game. It's definitely everybody hollers PSYOP. Well, of course it's a PSYOP. Is it done by DARPA? Is, are they the ones running these experiments? Is this the Switzerland thing? Are we under some sort of an attack? Why isn't our government saying it? Uh, Obama, he spoke out against flat earthers. 
How long before they start speaking against the Mandela effects? And yet we see numerous counts of all of these things over and over in so many different areas. It's just, it's, it's mind boggling. So I'm asking you, rather, if you're, if you're a Christian person, be godly and have love in your heart. You're supposed to love your enemies rather than create enemies. You're supposed to love your enemies. And you're seeing so many Christians, so-called, that because they see differently, are smashing and judging and calling people liars. I'm speaking truth. I'm telling you my experience, whether it's different than yours or not. It's none of my business. It's not my problem. Uh, you know, I mean, if we're willing to share what we know, then let it be. I got people coming on my channel that are supposedly Christian folks calling me a devil, judging me without knowing me, and the things I speak are truth. Why would I lie? I'm not making any money here. Most of the people that are bashing me are out there asking for a dollar, man. Them PayPal accounts a donate. Don't want to shake the boat. Maybe that's part of the reason some people are not seeing some of this. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe they're blind and maybe they can't see. Or maybe all of us that are seeing these things have lost our minds. Or maybe we're at a different level of frequency. Maybe we can see something better. Maybe, maybe God's showing us something. I don't know. I'm asking y'all. The point is, is if you keep fighting and keep smashing against each other, you're not accomplishing anything. You're not winning souls if that's what you're trying to do. You're not winning ground because you're not going to shake somebody. You're not going to shake somebody's belief system. It doesn't work that way. You're wasting breath and time and making yourself out to look foolish and negative on both sides. If a person doesn't see the changes, for those of you that do, pray that they'll see. And if they do see the changes, for those of you that don't, pray that you'll see what they're doing or see what they see. Or maybe that they'll figure it out. Something's happening. Something's taking place. And it's making people question their own memories. What greater design would AI have to conquer the human domain? Divide and conquer. Think about it. Think about it. You guys better get your heads out of the dirt or wherever you got your head stuck and quit the clashing and start trying to figure out who's responsible for such a thing as this why is it happening how is it happening and try and figure that out rather than point the fingers you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong because i don't believe that there's too many people that have nothing to gain by lying if they're willing to share what they know, why call them a liar? Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people lying. There's a lot of people that are wrong about some of the things they're saying. On both sides of that, a lot of people are wrong about a lot of things. But it doesn't do me no good. I'm not gonna go around to every channel. It's none of my business. If they wanna be foolish, if they lie, my job, is to share with you what I know to the best of my ability. I'm not out here to judge other people. I'm not out here to bash people. I'm here to tell you you need to get right with God because your life is not guaranteed. Your breath is fleeting. Whether you believe in God or not, that's the truth. But something is happening. There is a phenomenon taking place and a large number of people you may not see all the things you might see one thing if you just got one thing if there's just one thing that strikes you as a mandela effect and it's provable to you one's all it takes one's all it takes and you may have issues and difficulty believing other things that's fine the point is 
is are you having your mind wiped or having thoughts put in? Look into some of that. You'd be amazed at what kind of technology and weaponry they have. Okay, y'all. I've been talking long enough. I just wanted to throw this out. Y'all gonna have to stop fighting with each other. I mean, I've got good friends that because I'm having an experience and explaining the way I remember the lion and the lamb, and you can go and look stuff up and judge not lest you be judged. And because I tell people, hey, look, you know, if you're gonna have a relationship with God, make God first in your life. And, well, that makes me crazy right there. I love y'all. Keep me in your prayers, and I'm sorry I'm long-winded. It's just the way God made me, I guess. Y'all take care. Hopefully I'll have that video out soon. I hope. Just wanted to throw this one out. Love y'all. Nothing like being in the great outdoors. That's a fact. Everybody's talking about the Mandela effect. Uh, this is uh, the craziest thing. Now listen, uh, it's changing stuff. You know, people have talked about like uh, the Baron, the Baron Stain Bears, right? You know, you've heard all of that, and everybody was saying it was spelled with an E. People are flipping out over geographical changes and all kinds of things and time loops and, and all this and that. And I was working on a video uh, for CERN, not for CERN, but about CERN, <laughs> and a book called uh, Clavis and Fernine and how that all relates. And anybody who's listening to this, you just, you just gotta stay with me, okay? Uh, but. I got some proof on, on how some things have changed. I'm gonna give you all something here. It's just sort of mind boggling. But everybody's seeing it in, uh, uh, and y'all go check it out. I mean, uh, don't take my word for it. Go study for yourself. But they're saying, you know, people can remember uh, certain logos on cars, or they remember, okay, like for instance, uh, remember the Disney, Disney movie, uh, Snow White, you know, when she's standing there and she's looking at the, the mirror and she says, mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? It, well, it doesn't say that. The Star Wars fans, they say, you know, uh, when Darth Vader looks at me, she says, Luke, I am your father. And it doesn't say that. It says, no, I am your father. It says, magic mirror on the wall. Um, all of your memories, and then the majority of people not everyone, uh, and depending on your age as to what you've seen or whatever. Remember uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Well, it doesn't say that no more. It says in this neighborhood. Things have changed. Now, here's why it's so important that you grasp this. And again, go do the research yourself on the Mandela Effect. But check it out. I know Scripture, okay? I know scripture. This is a, this is a point that I'm trying to make. Now this is old, old stuff. Okay, uh, Bibles and things like that. I know uh, going back into the old ones. Uh, this one's from 1966. It was uh, a family Bible my mom and dad had had. Uh, 
you're looking, and I'm talking King James. Try and go with the King James Version, okay? Because all these translations and stuff. Now, just hang with me. This ain't about religion. You just got to hang with me and listen close. This Mandela effect that the people are seeing or, or experiencing. And when you go in there and do the research, I guarantee you, if your eyes are open, you're going you're gonna to have some, some memories that you have that aren't necessarily the same. Remember Chick-fil-A? It was C-H-I-C uh, dash uh, F-I-L dash A, Chick-fil-A restaurants. Remember that? Well, it's not that. It's C-H-I-C-K. Um, There's a big thing happening here. I want to go into that more, but right now I just want to show you one of the changes that is uh, a serious one. In uh, Scripture, it talks about the Lord's Prayer. You know, everybody knows the Lord's Prayer. There's only two places it shows up. One's in Matthew uh, chapter uh, 6, verse 9. And it talks about there. And there it used to say, uh, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. You remember that. Okay, and over in Luke, it said pretty much the same. Our Father who art in heaven, uh, but there it said, Forgive us our debts, as we forgive those who de are our debtors. Uh, it doesn't say that now. In any Bible in the world, or at least in this reality and nobody's had access to your Bible I've got Bibles and nobody's had access who, who how can that be you look back into history and everything it doesn't say that now uh, go and read that in, in Matthew chapter go just go read uh, Matthew chapter uh, 6 verse 9 and read the Lord's Prayer. There's another place. Uh, the, and this, this is for the people that would study the Scripture or the ancient texts and things like that. That you might get some of it. But, but what I'm trying to explain is this is proof of the Mandela effect because you can pick up any Bible. And those of you that know Scripture have got it written in your heart. It says, Judge not lest ye be judged. It doesn't say that anymore either. It doesn't say judge not. There's a place in Isaiah where it talks about where the lion will lay down with the lamb. Well, they changed that. Now it says the wolf will lay down with the lamb. And the leopard with the young goat. Really, it uses words that are new uh, over there in Luke in uh, chapter 17. The word stuff, if those that were up on the, their housetops, not to come down and take anything out but to flee. Well, it doesn't say take things out now or your possessions, it says stuff. S T U F F. Doesn't matter how old your Bible is, now it says stuff. Every Bible in the world says it all of a sudden. Now, this is ridiculously crazy, but I'm telling you, I know my scripture here. And one of the things is, is over in Matthew, I wanted to look, but I found proof of it. But I wanted to show you this. Uh, given back in November 1966. Uh, it's an old, just one of these old family Bibles, you know, right? Okay, check this out. Um, this is, this is crazy. Over in Matthew. Let me get there and then I'll turn it back on here. Just to, you know, this is in Matthew 9. In chapter 17, now, I want to show you something. This is an old King James Bible. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. It didn't say bottles. It said wine skins. Neither do men put new wine into old wine skins. Check this out. Some of the things that have changed, but not everything. I've got this book. This, again, I've got all these books. So it hasn't affected all the books, but this isn't an actual Bible. This is Find It Fast in the Bible. So when you go in here and you look up for the old, old wineskins, same place I just read to you, Matthew 9, 17. It says, nor do people put new wine into old wineskins or else the wineskins break. 
the wine is spilled and the wine skins are ruined. It says it in Mark 2, 2, 22. No one puts new wine into old wine skins or else the new wine bursts with the wine skins. The wine is spilled and the wine skins are ruined. Mark 2, 22. Let's look that one up in here real quick. Mark 2, 22. Let's see. Mark 2, 22. Look at this. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine doth burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled. They didn't have bottles in it. It would have been the wine skins. And there's other places that this has changed. They haven't changed every book. And advertisements, they haven't changed. This is where you call me crazy, and that's fine. But people that know these scriptures that are written in their heart, you can see if you study this Mandela effect and see what's going on. All of the things. Remember uh, the mirror, mirror on the wall or the, the, the different movie uh, lines that have been spoken. The, the, the baseball thing says, uh, we build it and they will come. It doesn't say that now. You go watch any version of it. It says, uh, when you build it, he will come. Some strange things, all these little changes, little words, little letterings, the bear and stained bears. You go in there and look, everybody remembers the E on it. I remember that because I said Berenstein and my dad, he said, well, it's spelled like Berenstein. My dad's passed away now a long time, but Berenstein, and he said, it should like Frankenstein. And I said, no, it's Berenstein. That's the way it was. I used to get their comic books. It's Berenstein. Now everything says Berenstein, S-T-A-I-N. All these little changes that so many people are aware of. Now, again, a certain age bracket it cuts off. They don't know the difference. They haven't experienced it. And people say, oh, it's just your memory. Look, one thing I got down pat, I know the scripture. And I also, I got enough books to back it up. I mean, this one hadn't been changed yet. And the things that they're changing out there to, to try and manufacture. But it, it's, it's a mind boggle. When you know the scripture, the lion laying down with the lamb, now it says wolf. Go look in your Bible and check that out over there in Isaiah. I mean, I'm telling you, the things have changed. A new dimension to port. This is all about CERN. I'm trying to explain that. I'm just going to throw that out there to you. Look into the Mandela effect. And for those of you that are Bible lookers and things like that, if there was ever some delusion on the earth right now, you need to go look because now your memories aren't what they once were. And I'm telling you, it applies to so many things. So many things that people aren't even aware of. Everything from geological. There's a... People talking about they used to have to take the ferry over to Staten Island up there. But there's a bridge there now. Most people don't even know or didn't even remember. People living right there in New York didn't know that bridge was there, but it's there. Crazy things, man. There's a great thing happening. But here's what bothers me. Because there's a lot more changes in that Bible. A lot of them. And it doesn't matter what Bible you go, the one I normally will read out of doesn't matter which one you look at and how many other books have been changed the words and lettering and how they done it this is that great delusion that great deception that's coming upon the earth there's something happening here and it is a mind boggle now i mean we're talking a walk through the twilight zone it's amazing it's an amazing time they're calling it enlightenment maybe or or the awakening or something like that but i'm telling you what they're doing at cern and i've got i've got proof on that i've been trying to work on getting a video to you i want to get you that and if i'm alive long enough and i can pull all this off i'll try to but i'm telling you those of you that know your bible that know the word was trespasses it ain't there now now the trespasses words down there in matthew on the lord's prayer is down below that so they just changed it to debt and debtor, and the, in the, in the Matthew one was the trespasses. So after you read on down, then they use the word trespasses there. It's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. But listen, don't be disheartened. When you get in there, those that are reading their Bibles and stuff like that, that know these scriptures by heart, when you get in there and see these things, don't let it boggle your mind that the changes have been made that way. But I'm telling you, there's not a Bible on the earth, at least not in this reality, not in this dimension. They did it. 
they've succeeded at what they were trying to do and that may just be the first run or the first couple of runs there's more coming and it's going to get crazy it's going to get crazy i'm telling you but you got you got to hear what i'm i mean this is this is facts this isn't no conspiracy theory go look in any bible now and see all those that knew i mean how many kids grew up even if you're atheist a lot of them grew up with the idea they knew the lord's prayer for goodness sakes it's changed there's other things changed in there too, some key ones, some key ones. Y'all go check this stuff out, man, it's crazy. I wanted to add this on too. This is a 1611, the Old English style. Uh, over in Luke uh, chapter, uh, what chapters are these? I'm never good with Roman numerals. DC, 7, 18, I guess it's 17, yeah, chapter 17, that's right. Uh, in chapter 17, and this is the Old English now, the original 1611 edition, right? And even here it says, uh, in that day, let's see, shall be uh, up on the housetop and his stuff in the house. S-T-U-F-F-E. -F -F -E. Really? In that one, it even changed and put stuff there in the Old English? Now, watch this. Check this out. In the New King James Version, okay, uh, I wanted to check there too, just to be certain, right? And three, where we was talking about the wineskins. Now this is crazy, because here it said bottles before. In the new one, the revised version of the new King James, it says, nor do they put new wine into old wineskins, or else the wineskins break, the wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined. But they put new wine into new wineskins, and both are preserved. Now, the the, uh, the Lord's Prayer we was talking about, that's still the same in, in the old or the new. But it's, it's different, it's flipped, because the old one, the original ones, had the wineskins, and now it says bottles in the original King James Version, you have to check. If you're in the new King James Version, now it says wineskins where it said bottles before. And so, again, if you go over there to chapter 6 and uh, verse 9, let's see, I'm trying to see here on this, uh, bear with me, bear with me, 6. I don't like these new ones, but I keep them. I've got new, revised, international editions and all of them, but I, I go by the original. That's why I prefer, but uh, here we go. Uh, it was in chapter 6. We was talking about verse 9. When he's talking about it, says, Therefore do not be always see. It's in verse 9. In this manner, therefore pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, it just says our Father in heaven. This is the new one. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. It was thy in, in the old. On earth as it is in heaven. Uh, that that was the right part. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Now again, this was the one that was in Luke originally, but now it's in Matthew. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil, from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now that's in the new version. But again, uh, in the original, it, it was, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Remember, forgive us our trespasses. So anyway, y'all go look it all up. Have fun with it. Welcome to the Twilight Zone.
Oh, yeah.